gals, blokes, and all other folks, my name is Mortius, and today we are here with Marwin Amon's rendition of Grim Grinning Ghosts. Apparently we're not done with spooky season quite yet. I thought I was done with spooky season, I'd moved on to a couple other things, and then Marwin was like, no, I'm gonna release this on Halloween. And I was like, well, I can't just not watch it. So here we are with the spooky season after credit scene, I guess is what we're gonna call this one. So after this, um, there was a lot of amazing covers that I kind of had to or have to catch up on that while I was doing my spooky themed month, I kind of missed. So I kind of feel, I'm looking at it and I genuinely feel like the next week is just gonna be like base gang home free, base gang home free, base gang, like it's gonna be like Marwin's newest, home free, uh, home freeze. Peter's newest, home free. Bonnie's newest, home free. Tell me, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm really just gonna go for all the Bass Gang's individual releases and then just go back and forth between that and all the home free songs I missed, which is three at this point. So that's kind of what November is gonna be like. And then in December, I'm gonna hop into Christmas, which of course I'm very excited about because Christmas music is excellent. So that's enough about all that. That's just stuff generally about my schedule. We are here for Marwin's rendition of Grim Grinning Ghosts. I'm really excited for this one. I like Grim Grinning Ghosts a lot. I think it's a very creative piece, um, or not necessarily creative, but a piece with a lot of creative potential. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have too much to say about it. You've probably heard some version of Grim Grinning Ghosts in your life. I know I have. So I'm just really excited to see what Marwin's take on this looks feels and sounds like because he never fails to blow me out of the water. So without further ado, let's hop right on into it. When the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake. When the When <laughs> he's just coming in straight with that nothing else just when the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake spooks come out for a swinging way happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize ring grinning ghosts come out to socialize oh i just i Love it so much. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Lies and begin to vocal. And listen to that. materialize and begin to. This and be begin to. Creates just kind of a weird, cool effect where it feels like there's still like a lead standing out from the others, but mostly just these visuals, just the harm. Oh. Vocalize, vocalize. <laughs> like, oh. Grinning, grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Hold on, right, Marwin? Marwin over there. What are you Lies. doing? Grinning, grinning ghosts come out to social. Come out to socialize. Come out to socialize. That's like near the top of my chest. Come out. And he's just to what? vocalize, ring grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Out to socialize. God, are you kidding me? Eyes. Oh no, 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 no. What do you have? No, I'm not ready. As soon as they all left, I'm, I'm learning Marwin's arrangements too much to the point where all he has to do is stop singing, and I get scared. <laughs> What does that say? The fact that all he has to do is take all the voices, cut them out, and I'm just like, ah, oh, what are you gonna do to me next, Marwin? Let's find out. I'm out to socialize. When the grim doors creak and the tombstones quake, spooks come out for a swinging way. Happy haunts materialize. I like that. Who, 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 how? Like the little bit of vowel change, so it's not just all ooze, but that who, who. Ooh, ah, ooh. That's kind of a cool touch there. Eyes. When the grim doors creak and the tombstones quake, yeah. spooks come out for a swinging way. Happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. Slim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Now don't close. <laughs> grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Now don't. 
grinning ghost come out to socialize. Now don't close. <laughs> I just, I never don't have fun when I load up a Marwin arrangement. I also keep forgetting that my headphones go behind me now. I just, I really never don't have fun. Like, that's what it comes out to. Like, it's, it's whether or not it's my favorite arrangement ever, or whether it's just like a little bit more on the simple side, as if Marwin ever does truly simple, but on the simpler side of Marwin's arrangements, I just, they're never not just a good gosh darn time. Like, happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. And the fact that it goes like out to out to socialize, and he lands on this really cool harmony, but then goes dun dun, and like goes below, like he goes from above the harmony to like way above the harmony, basically goes from the melody to a like baritone harmony to a bass harmony, while the actual bass harmony just stays there. Who does that? Slim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Now don't close your eyes and don't try to hide or a silly spook may sit by your Cease! <laughs> Stop it! You can't do that! <laughs> try to hide or a silly spook For a silly spook? Like, why? Rise you don't, don't need to try do this to, to hide or a shit. And hold on, I need those three. Close your eyes and don't try to hide or a shit. I like that. Like the way that that progressed in the background is just fun. See, I'm, I'm set out to actually talk about things because Marwin makes fun of me. <laughs> It literally be like, I love how every other video I watch of yours, you break down the music and for mine, you can't even say things. So I'm, I'm challenging myself to actually say things about your arrangement this time. So you can't make fun of me anymore, Marwan. <laughs> Daily spook may sit by your side, shrouded in the dark disguise. They pretend to terrorize. Grim what did I just, I just, I just <laughs> said that I... <laughs> Shrouded in the dark disguise, they pretend to terrorize. And again, I've made this comment before, but the fact that Marwin's videos are living arrangements are some of my favorite parts about the way that he chooses to perform his craft. Like... It's so, so cool every time the way that he just like, because you can see everything happening. You can see every individual harmony. You can see all the individual bits and pieces, but even the red and purple are the two different beatboxings. Like if you watch them, one of them is doing your like your high snares and drum kicks and whatever it's called. I don't know vocal percussion, but. Like your red's going dum, tss, tss, dum, tss, tss, dum, while your purple's Missing going by your side, shrouded in the disguise. That oh dum 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 that it's doing there. So you've got purple doing like a dum 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 stand-up bass line while red's being like a drum kit. You can just you can see everything happening in your ears is also happening on screen. And it is just this incredible audio-visual integration that he pulls off in every single one of his videos. Like, I feel like everyone always talks about, like, oh, like, a ranging prodigy. Like, he's so talented for his age. And all that's true. But, like, the ability to not only, like, there's so many steps that you guys don't understand like i have been working on my first proper acapella cover for an entire year and there are just so many pieces that the average person does not comprehend that marwin does all of them to, like the ability to take music in your mind and then get it into an actual arrangement and then take that arrangement the way that it sounds in your brain and make it sound good to an audience and translate the same arrangement to the screen in a way that conveys 
the art that you are creating, it's like, it is literally just like YouTube synesthesia. He is like manually creating synesthesia and it's the coolest thing. Just, oh, it the artistry blows me away every time, regardless of age, but especially because of it. Like just, I'm sorry, that was quite the tangent, but I just, you really need to understand the actual talent that is on display in every aspect of conception to execution. Every step along the way is flawless artistically. And I don't think you guys actually understand how hard that is. Oh, what was I listening to? I or a silly spoon yeah, sit by your side, shrouded in the death disguise. They pretend to terrorize. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Go to an instrumental solo in the middle of an acapella piece. It's not allowed. As the moon climbs high of the dead oak trees, spooks arise for the midnight spree. Creep and creeps with eerie eyes, start to shriek and harmonize. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. There's those bell tones and like the fact that you can see, cause like, uh, like just, mm. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Calm down, Morius. Cool. Like you can see when it goes from just a couple parts to lots of parts for everything I was just talking about. It's just so good. Grim grin ghost come out to socialize. the knell of a requiem bell, where ghosts dream where spirits dwell. No! Because we were spirits well, restless bones ethereal. <laughs> what note is that? No. No. Because we were spirits well, restless bones ethereal. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't. I literally can't. I literally can't. I'm a tanner. <laughs> <laughs> what is that is that a g because it's so i can warm up to it i just can't is that is that what that is no nope, we're taking a piano break we're taking a piano break i'm getting out my piano app one of these days i'll actually download a piano app that doesn't all right is that no there's no way that's what it is no Those dream where spirits dwell, restless bones ethereal No, 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 no way. Ah, uh, that can't, no. Requiem bell, where ghosts dream where spirits dwell. Restless bones etherealize, rise the spooks of the- That, you, that, that's a B5? That is one note below the sixth octave? <laughs> One of these days, we are all going to be able to be like, you know, I knew, I knew world-renowned artist Marwin Amon when he was just a kid making a cappella music. I knew him before he was cool, before he was a household name. Cause that's what he's gonna freaking become. Are you kidding me? Spirits dwell, restless bones etherealize, rise the spooks of every size. Grim grinning ghosts come out to Come, come down.
down here. Come down here. I, I know, I know. With the green screen, you probably can't even tell the desk is moving, but like, come, come down here. Come down here. We need to, we need to, no. We need to, we need to have a conversation. We need to, we need to have a talk. We need to, we need to, we need to chat about something. What? Is happening right now. I, uh, I, you, you can't. Like, he's so good, you guys. We are, like, I could make a friggin' video essay just called We Are Taking Marwan Eamon for Granted. Hi, Ella. Yes, I need, I need some comfort right now. I need, I need to be comforted. I don't understand what I'm witnessing right now. Marwan, you're sending me into a breakdown. Ella could hear, Ella could hear my distress from the other room and knew that I needed help. This is what you've done to me. This is just, it is musical mastery. That's what it is. It is musical mastery, Ella. Musical mastery. I'm just, I'm just gonna listen to the rest of the song from the floor. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna put the desk back up. We're just gonna listen to it down here. Join a jam boy. If you would like to join our jamboree, there's a simple rule that's compulsory. Mortals pay a token fee. Rest in what was that harmony? No, no. Simple rule that's compulsory. Mortals pay a token. I hold on. No. Compulsory. I just, I need this whole section again. Hold on. No, no. I just, I just need to. I just need to. Let me, let's, let's get it If again. you would like to join our jamboree, there's a simple rule that's compulsory. Mortals pay a token fee. That token fee, token fee. Token fee. That harmony there, excellent, perfect. Rest in peace, the haunting's free. So hurry back, we would like your company. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my cover of Grim. Uh, you're not welcome. <laughs> You're not, you're not, you're not welcome. I don't, this is my chair. I'm on, I'm sitting on the floor right now. Marwin, Ella, come back, I need you. Marwin. Just. <clears throat> I just noticed that Peter Holland's the patron. That's really cool. Hi, Ella. Yeah, I know, baby. That was crazy, huh? You didn't even hear it. You can't even wear headphones. You don't even know why I'm breaking. Marwin, well done as usual. I almost didn't do this. I almost didn't even record this video. I was almost like, eh, I'll do it next Halloween. Like, we're out of spooky season. I have other things to record, but like, no. Gotta support my boy, I wanna watch it. And it, it broke. I'm supposed to record two more videos after this. I'm supposed to record a home free video, and I'm supposed to record one more video that just in case the schedule changes, I don't want to actually say. I, I'm going to need to go take a nap. That was so good. I know I always say that you break me, but like you broke me, broke me. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Like, again, your just mastery over how to just... I. <sighs> I'm glad that I put some things into words for the first half, because that entire second half I would not be able to say a dang word about. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap and then record some home free. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much as always. Um, and yeah, Ella, say hi. 
Say hi to the people. Look at them so they can see your beautiful eyes. There she is. I know, I'm sorry. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye.